You keep saying that you don't see any Palestinian civilians dead, and the number of of civilians should killed should be zero. But you saw the numbers. I'm sure you did today. They are staggering. There are 30,000 dead, 70,000 wounded, and 7,000 are missing. With due respect, Matt, many people in the Arab and Muslim world do not believe that this administration is sincere when they keep saying the same message that we don't want to see Palestinian dead for many reasons. Number one, you supply Israel with lethal weapon with no conditions and no reviews as much as we ask about it. And second <coughs> is you shelter them in the Security Council and you still side in with Israel that no ceasefire till now. You want a short pause and it didn't work out. So how can you respond to people who criticize this administration, that actually you're the one who's supporting the Israelis. So I would I, I would turn it around with a question, not to not to you, because I know that's not the way this exchange is supposed to work, but to anyone that wants Israel to stop, just to stop the war unilaterally, what is their solution to the Hamas leadership that launched the attacks of October 7th and continue to be at large? What is their solution to the thousands of Hamas fighters who continue to be operating inside Gaza and continue to say that they are committed to the destruction of the state of Israel, to say that they are continue to be committed to the intentional murder of Israeli civilians. So anyone that is asking the question uh, about Israel and Israel's conduct in this campaign, which are fair questions, and that's why we stand up here and answer them, also needs to ask questions about Hamas's culpability and Hamas's side in that, because this is a difficult problem, and we continue to believe that Israel has a legitimate right to go after terrorists that are right across its borders, right in Gaza, that are committed to the destruction of the state of Israel and are committed to killing Israeli civilians. But we want them to do it in accordance with international humanitarian law, and it is important that they do that. Um, again, as I've said before, if Hamas came out and laid down arms, all of this could be over today.